like two exhausted boxers after 12 rounds of slugging it out over phone hacking, their fights looking more like a choreographed dance, move and counter move, now all rather predictable. In an emergency debate, opposition leader Ed Miliband wasted no time in hitting the Prime Minister where it hurts on his decision to hire former tabloid editor Andy Coulson as communications director. Why doesn't he do more? Why doesn't he do more than give a half apology and provide the full apology now for hiring Mr Coulson and bringing him into the heart of Downing Street? The riposte was equally cutting, a nifty jab back at the opposition. What the public expects is not petty political point scoring, but a cons what, what they want, what they deserve, is concerted action to rise to the level of events and pledge to work together to sort this issue out once and for all. This emergency debate was supposed to be about phone hacking, but it soon reverted back to the ding-dong politics that Westminster is famous for around the world. Miliband did score on points. It wasn't any knockout blow. Um, and I think that Cameron always manages to look plausible and convincing, even when he's basically on the ropes. But not everyone thought Cameron, who had cut short an overseas trip, was struggling. Today was not a success for Ed Miliband because it became so patently absurd to drag Parliament back, to drag the Prime Minister back from Southern Africa in order to demand an apology. But sorry seems to be the one word that David Cameron just can't bring himself to say. He says he's got nothing to apologise for. His critics say he must atone for a catastrophic lapse in judgement. Parliament may be about to go on its summer holidays, but this fight will rumble on for months to the utter despair of some. Um, Mr Rupert Murdoch, you um, said... But after the grilling Rupert Murdoch endured, he's had enough, leaving the UK on Tuesday on his private jet. Some are talking about the Murdoch era ending, but in Britain they're talking about the beginning of a new one, with a whole new relationship between politics, press and the police. Dan Rivers, CNN, London.